All right, Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, Wa Akwath, learning and teaching in truth and sincerity. This is going to be another video uh, through the Spirit. All right, now I'm pretty sure some of y'all have seen this uh, video. Uh, oh, what's the brother's name? Uh, Tazadak. I believe the elder brother out of uh, uh, out of LA you know this video isn't necessarily response to his video more so dealing with this very picture right here y'all you know I was watching this video last night on my TV you know I got a flat screen and I was sitting pretty close you know and I look up and this is what I see for for a minute and I was just like holy shit you know that ain't nothing to be played with. You look at that man right there. <laughs> and we understand this is just a picture, right? But there's a reason why it says the Heavenly Father, you know, is fearsome to behold, man. His presence, we can't actually be, we're not on a level to where we can get in front of him. We would be consumed. We would die, all right? If all of us right now on planet Earth happen to look up and see this, a dark-skinned man, with a stern face and a beard, everybody on this bit on this planet Earth would shit themselves. All right. If you was asleep and you woke up and saw this man in your face, you'd be like, "Ho oh, ho, oh, whoa!" You know. And so it reminded me of that fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which is what we must have. The Heavenly Father and His Son aren't nobody to be played with. You know. Like that, uh, the elder brother, uh, Manatazak, all right, he had made the statement in a video some time ago. And I remember when he said it, all right, the Heavenly Father doesn't find nothing funny what we find funny, all right? The angels ain't up there laughing when we laughing. You know, we see something on TikTok. They not up there laughing, all right? The spirits in the spiritual realm is not laughing, all right? The Heavenly Father is a, is a very... That image, that ain't nothing to play with, man. So let's get some scriptures on the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which we are to have. Ecclesiastes, you know, a basic video, uh, uh, a very, you know, one, two, three type video, but it must be reminded, all right? Because the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, let me just read this real quick. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. What matter? Life. What is life about? Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man this is what we that's what life is about to do what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has commanded of us if we if we did that back in the beginning we'd have a we'd be enjoying life but when you don't obey when you don't have that fear your heart he makes your life hard and every incarnation there on out hard all right, verse 14, for Yahweh shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. And that's one of the key things right here in verse 14. It says with every secret thing. See, right now in the world, see, nobody feels that presence of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai staring over them. So everybody down here on planet Earth does nothing but wickedness all day, every day. If you, if, if we all... If 24 hours out the day you saw a gigantic black man in the sky staring at you, would nobody on this bitch sin? <laughs> if you think Jake would be eating pork, if every time you look up and see that, and he he if you every time you think of doing something, he lean in on you, Jake would be like, oh no, <laughs> let me let me put this hot dog down. Let me leave Keisha alone. She says she got a man. I'm leaving her alone. Everybody would be on check, but since the spiritual realm is invisible and the Heavenly Father and the angels and the Son hide themselves, what has happened? People have people think that it's okay and they can do whatever they want. So it's going to be to their shock when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai re reveal themselves, man. You know, hey, just looking at this picture, yo, I, you know, I was that first time I seen it, I was like, holy shit. You know, I prayed. You know, I was like, you know, hey, Lord, <laughs> you know, show us favor. Be pleased with us. Because at any time, 
Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is displeased at you. That's a rat. You back in the spiritual realm. It's just that quick, you know. That's a fear. That's a, that's a, that's a that's a thought provoking image. So let's get this real quick. Second Peter three and four. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. So right there, that shows you the mindset of the people of this world, especially our wicked people. They think that God is dead. They think that they're, you know, they're atheists. Everyone's a bunch of atheists walking around. They don't believe in nothing no more. If we were all subject to staring at this every day, would nobody want to sin? Because all he got to do is point his big finger on you and crush you where you fucking stand. And that'd be a wrap. But the Heavenly Father, hey, he, he's, let me get this, Isaiah 45 and 15. He hides himself to test our integrity and our character, y'all. You know, the head of the camp isn't able to stand over you 24 hours a day, all right? So what you, what, the elders and apostles don't stand over you 24 hours a day, all right? It's just impossible. So you, these things that you learn, you read, you have to internalize and you have to fucking, you have to walk by it. Because though man doesn't see you, the angels see you, all right? And then who do they report the matter back to? The Heavenly Father, Isaiah 45 and 15. Verily thou art a God that hidest thyself, O Yahweh of Israel, the Savior, all right? He hides himself, meaning what? He is not easily seen. And he'll let time periods go by to let people believe that he doesn't exist and then what will he do reappear to shock the world and how is the heavenly father going to reappear this time by sending his his son Yahweh Shai to shake the fucking world up man you know I can't get enough of this picture this it really puts into perspective what's important and what's not all of our actions are being weighed all of our thoughts our movements you know hey we're in the flesh so we go off we fuck up you know, some days we'd be on folly, all right. But this right here, man, if if like if every moment you had to look up in the sky and see that, you wouldn't even want to use the bathroom no more. You wouldn't. You wouldn't want to. <laughs> you wouldn't. You wouldn't. You you just want to sit in one spot and try not to move so you don't piss him off. You know. So let's actually take a look at that word fear. All right, we're gonna get a couple of scriptures dealing with the word fear. All right, and it tells you in Isaiah that the oh we'll go to that real quick, do a two for one. The fear of the Lord, Isaiah three and six, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is his treasure. So let's take a look at what that fear is. All right, since we trust in them, when this calamity comes, they'll keep us. But what what does that fear all involve, man? All right, this is a problem with the world. They don't have no 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 fear no more. This looks like Yah. Uh, looks like Yah, Ra, Ah, and Ha. So Yah Ra, ah, I'll say. All right. Fear, terror, fearing, awesome or terrifying thing. Fear of God, respect, reverence, piety revered all right so those are good synonyms respect reverence piety people don't respect god no more which is why they do whatever the fuck they want to do without any recourse you got that punk ass planet fitness this is a no judgment zone you know that's how people live their life a no judgment zone they do it whatever they want because they don't expect a recompense a payback well we can't be like that heavenly father sees all Let's see, it says, to fear the reverence, to fear thy name. Let's see, and the men seize the great fear. Uh, hostium, hence. Metis hostium. Fear of thorns, briars, reverence. Reverence towards Yahweh, piety. Precepts of religion or priority. All right. So, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's plain, you know to reverence to respect piety all right these are synonyms for the word fear all right you have this scripture yep okay perfect yep malachi hey this is why the destruction that's coming is about to be so bad because people have forgotten the fear of the lord even the heathen even the heathen are supposed to be in line 
granted they're not the chosen so they don't have that that um relationship with the heavenly father and with his son as we do but even they're supposed to acknowledge that there's a higher power and he's not a, a floating cracker all right when he represents himself he chooses to rep him, represent himself as a dark-skinned man and these people is going to acknowledge that one way or a fucking other all right malachi 1 and 6 a son honoreth his father and a servant his master if then i be a father where is mine honor and if i be a master where is my fear saith Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai of host unto you, O priest that despise my name, and ye say, Wherein have we despised thy name? All right, and this is the Heavenly Father, you know, he was pissed off at the wicked of our people, especially the priests, because they were mishandling the services of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. <sighs> all right. So it says, Where is my fear? The Heavenly Father expects that of us, all right. Hey, if you ever, if y'all remember the movie Clash of the Titans, the one that came out in like 2010 or whatever, one of the, you know, it's Greek mythology bullshit, but one of the things that was going on, the gods were angry because people weren't worshiping them anymore. Therefore, the gods was causing all kinds of problems in the earth and fucking everybody over and they wasn't answering nobody's prayers. You know, how much more the Heavenly Father? We're His chosen people, man. We may... Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai look bad, y'all. We're supposed to be the representatives. That's why we. That's why we're down at the bottom now because we made our God look bad. So the, our God made us look bad in the sight of these heathen. You know, is 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 a one for one. We did bad on him, so he got us bad back. And now look at us. So now it behooves us to fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, and with that fear, what it'll cause you to do. You know, as I was saying earlier, it'll cause you to act right even when no one's around. Even when no other human soul is around, you still gonna act right. Alright. Sirach 19. Let me think. No, 23. 23 and uh 19. It says, Such a man only feareth the eyes of men. Okay, actually now if I start up, this is dealing with uh, adultery, right? You know, because in, in the case of adultery. If a person had fear of the Lord, they wouldn't do it, no matter how good-looking the woman was. Or for a woman, you wouldn't step out on your man, no matter how attractive the man that is trying to entice you is. Whether he he could, you know, look better, have more money, all that bullshit, you know, all that all that bullshit. People come up with excuses in their mind. Though you think it's just you and that person, angels is taking note, and you can apply this with any form of sin or wrongdoing. If, if hey, these stony hearts, man, that's what we need that new heart. We, we need that new heart because the stony heart will do some wickedness and won't give a fuck. And we, you know, that has to, that's, that can't be. All right, so 23 and 19, it says, Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. All right, right there. So there ain't nothing, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai can't see which is why we ought to act right at all times and taking it back you know i don't, I don't know who put this picture together you know but you know that that's pretty cold-blooded but i'm actually you click on the next video right the brother uh Kazak, the elder brother kazak i believe out of mississippi I always fuck the state up forgive me all right i can't remember that state <laughs> I, I always keep wanting to say tennessee or something man. i don't know why but he did his review on the movie Nope, which I did one on it as well, you know. And one of the things that I liked about this movie, which I had mentioned in my video, it truly put, it brought that fear of the chariots, man. When you read that Zechariah, it said that this is the curse that goeth upon the earth. All right, now we understand the chariots is our salvation. Uh, but if you of the wicked, that chariot don't got none good coming for you, dog. If you ain't righteous, them chariots ain't got nothing good coming for you. And so as I was watching that movie, I was just like, man, it's going to be what? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, it's going to, hey, you have the phrase that's been going around. The truth is stranger than fiction. It's going to be fucking crazy to see flying objects zipping and zapping through the sky, roasting people a fucking alive and beaming up others. 
All right, people gonna be out here. People gonna, people. Hey, let me get the scriptures, man. People hearts gonna gonna fell on their ass, man. People's hearts is gonna explode in their chest <laughs> at the things that are coming. Luke 21 and 26. Men's heart failing them for fear and for looking at those things which are coming on the earth. The calamities that are coming is gonna. Hey, the things that are happening right now is bugging people out. Motherfuckers knifing their own kids off, man. All right. Y'all saw the video I did earlier, that gremlin looking nigga. It says he sexually assaulted his woman with a hot frying comb, man. What the f fuck type of people is running around this bitch? <laughs> you know? It's getting wild and reckless out here in the West, all right? The wild, wild West and throughout all the world. Terror is coming. And who? Oh, I'm going to have to get that scripture. All right. It says, after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. All right. So the Heavenly Father is going to break up the foundations and establishments of this world. All right. And what is he? What is one phrase that he's known as? All right. If, hey, look. If I just typed in the word fear and Lord, look how many times it pops up. 250 some times all right i don't have enough time in the day to read all these verses this would be an eight hour long video you know if we dealt with every single verse deuteronomy 6 and 13 it says thou shalt fear the lord thy god and serve him and shalt swear by his name all right come on man this is serious business this is serious business but i'll get one more damn it if I can stop hitting the wrong buttons. Damn it. Alright. Um. Okay, there we go. Habakkuk 18 and 14. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. Alright. Now I believe. You know, just starting at uh dealing with the bottom part of the verse it shall bring it shall bring him to the king of terrors this is one of the titles for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh all right for the heavenly father all right he's a, let's go take a look at that word terror real quick that word terror in Job 18 and 14 all right the heavenly father ain't nothing to be played with man and that whenever I see the when I, I keep seeing that picture and it's just like it's just like oh boy oh boy when it comes it's gonna come y'all it's gonna come all right, ba ha ha or uh, ba balaha or bala ba ha ha. It looks like ba ba ha ha. Terror, destruction, calamity, dreadful event. The heavenly Father is the king of dreadful events. Why? Because he creates them. He's the king of destruction, the king of calamity. You don't want none of that. You don't want. We don't want none of that, y'all. That's why we're in. That's why, Lord willing, we doing what we doing, so we can be on the opposite side of calamity. You don't want the king of calamity on your forehead, man. You out of there. You don't got enough physical mass to handle all that. <laughs> you don't got enough body, man. All right. And what was one of the heavenly Father's titles? Alashadia. All right. God Almighty. Literally, he demon like power, man. So hey, come on. Let me take it back. I just want to get y'all that picture. Oh, yeah. You know, this is a video, a good video in and of itself. Go watch it. They are ready to move it on you, Israelites. It's a very good video on its own. But just the picture alone, man. Hey. Man. Hey. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakurash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all like the Akimwa Akwath, learning, teaching, and truth, and sincerity. Shalom.